going on, people? Welcome to another uh, CBSI of uh, Friday Night FOC with East Beast West, man. Uh, we've been doing this for like like already. I'm like a month, month already, couple, couple months maybe. I don't know. I'm not keeping count on this one, but uh, having fun with these, man. Uh, definitely like doing these, man, so I can put books on my pull list. So definitely, man, uh, we like to share this with you guys, man. As y'all know, guys, uh, we shout out to CBSI for doing this, man. CBSI comicbookinvest.com. Uh, shout out to Ben C and them over there. Uh, and this is Josh's list that he sends out to, to CBSI. Uh, and we just, you know, give it, give it a good, you know, a little flavor. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, man, here I have Josh. What's going on, Josh? What's going on, man? Yeah. Yeah. And then none, no other than my broski right here. What's going on, man? How's your thing? Good. <laughs> <laughs> this is rock and roll. Uh, so yeah, Josh, man, you want to explain a little bit about what, um, what FOC is? Yep, FOC stands for Final Order Cutoff. For people that don't know, Final Order Cutoff happens on Sunday nights at 11.59 p.m. for DC and 11.59 on Monday nights for Marvel and independent books. So make sure you guys get your orders into your stores before then. Um, also remember that this list, um, we come up with this list on thursdays um i'm constantly updating it books are constantly dropping all throughout the week and we'll go up as late sometimes as fridays or saturdays so we will miss some things um and usually not usually a lot of the times um some important books don't get dropped until like the last minute so please constantly be checking wherever you guys are looking uh or ordering your books from if you order through previews world if they if your shop has a previews world account and you order through that uh i, I know myself and i think uh mike does as well work mm -hmm. I, I check multiple times a day every day right up until final order cut off uh so make sure you check that and then also to make sure that you go and check this out at comicbookinvest.com where ben will post the link to the video and the list uh of this video every week um or i'm sorry every uh saturday uh, sometimes Fridays, I think also, um, also make sure, or also, uh, note that not every book on this list is the entire, is not the entire FOC list. Um, we, we kind of just pick out some of the key ones and at the end I kind of list off some more, but there are more than that is just on this list. Yes, so sir. that being said, let's get rolling into this. Bam. So All right. DC? Okay. Hot book right now, even though I don't get it, but, um, <laughs> Batman Fortnite zero point number three second print, which is kind of weird considering the fact that the first print of number three is not even out yet. Mm -hmm. But obviously they're anticipating that this book is going to be hot and obviously just uh, reaches more than the comic book market. Obviously the big video game market with a lot of Fortnite players. Oh, yeah. uh, also a game that I do not like and I am a very big gamer. <laughs> I will not be picking this up. Needless to say, and before you guys comment, we also have Batman, Batman Fortnite Zero okay. Print, number one, third print. Nice, man. Uh, I picked up recently uh, uh, issue number one of Fortnite, Batman Fortnite, uh, for my son because he plays it. He's a big fan of uh, Fortnite. Uh, but the covers, man, this cover three on uh, issue three with Snake Eyes and Batman on the cover is a dope-ass cover, man. Uh, I think there was another premium. I think it's called the premium variant or something like that. Uh, that was a badass cover too with Stink Eyes and Batman on that cover. Uh, I think that I think it was like five dollars the cover price, I think it is for this one. Uh, so yeah, man, uh, I'll pick it up for my son, I'm cool with it. Hmm. All right, next up, Detective Comics 1036. We just reviewed 1035 on New Comic Book Day yesterday, or not our New Comic Book Day review. Um, it's been good, you know, uh, you got some new characters in there with uh, Mr. Worth. Um, and you know, uh, just more of Batman being a detective, uh, yeah. in, in this, uh, run more so than actually being Batman. Um, last issue had a nice little backup story with the Huntress. Uh, so I don't know if they're going to continue with the backup story or, or if they're actually going to be, if the stories are going to kind of merge together and they'll meet up together. Obviously, uh, Lee Bermejo back to his old tricks with doing these very <laughs> similar Batman B covers, uh, Little, little different on the last cover, which I like to see him do switch up his style a little bit. Um, but obviously, he's right back to what works best for him or what seems to work best for him. Yeah, well, no. it, 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 I'm sorry, is that a face or something like that in the background? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. there's hey. also a skull down here. 
Okay, all right. Okay, Broski, you were saying something. My bad. No, I, like you said, I'll pick it up. It was a great read what we read yesterday on uh, review. Uh, I actually probably might put this in my pull list just to see where it goes. The fact yeah. that I haven't read Detective Comics in a while. And then, Joker, you said that it was a uh, that it, that's a hidden bus read or a great read when it yeah. comes to Detective as opposed to Batman comics. So I'll pick it up. I mean, right now, uh, Batman is holding down the fort when it comes to DC. You know what I'm saying? With Detective... Nope. Uh, or even Bat Family, Nightwing has been doing good. Uh, uh, Batman and Detective, right? Detective, right here is like, like Josh said, man. Batman is straight up detective more on this shit. The, this, the, this, um, these are issues. And now with the Huntress, I, 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 I do think that she is going to um fall into play with the main story. I think so, but you know, nonetheless. And I don't care what you say, Josh. That B cover is dope, right? That B cover is dope. <laughs> well, one man's opinion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, Harley Quinn number three. Uh, I don't know if you guys read the first one. It was whatever. Uh, I, I thought they were going to take a little break from Harley Quinn. I kind of hoped they would. This is just more of the same. Uh, her kind of f figuring out her way after, you know, breaking up with the Joker and her now wanting to be part of the Bat family. Um, I didn't read issue two. Um, issue one ended kind of neat with you know uh hugo strange coming in at the end um these covers have been sort of cool the b cover is sort of cool in derek its chu. own way um yeah derek chu has been doing all the b covers mm -hmm. probably won't pick it up um i'm gonna go see how issue two was see if it's any good but uh i don't know i think they need to give harley a little bit of a break yeah it, you know what it is the problem is that she's so popular it's so hard to do that uh, but you uh, believe it or not, I'm kind of digging a little different type of art that a cover is given from Harley Quinn. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure how the interior is. How, I don't know how the art is inside there. But... The interior looks just like the a cover. Okay. I mean, I'm interested to see that. I'm, I might read this. I might, I might read the, 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 the problem is though, is yes, Harley is, is very popular, but her, her books from what I'm, what I know don't sell that well. So I thought it would have been kind of cool not to go off on a tangent here. That if during Joker War, when she got her throat, you know, cut by punchline, that she kind of just fell into the into the river and went away for a while and came back like on a vengeance tear yeah. or something like that. Uh, I, another side note, man, when it comes to Harley Quinn, I, I do enjoy how they did with the uh, what's that L story, the uh, the white the white knight. Yeah, uh, I, I like her character I'm there. Knight, I, yeah. I, I like her character in the future state, like her, Detective Harley. And even in Batman, you can see her as a sidekick too, you know. So uh, I'm, I'm enjoying the Harley from that. I don't know what Harley this is, so I'm interested to see. Yeah. All right, next up, the return of Mister Miracle, Mister Miracle number one. Um, excuse me, I'm sort of interested in this. I think that A cover is hideous as hell. Uh, I think if they were gonna choose a main cover, they sh probably should have done the B cover as the main cover. Mm -hmm. Um, I just don't think it's very appealing at all. Um, but Mr. Miracle, I want to read it. I heard, what was the last Mr. Miracle run that they did? I heard that one was pretty good. Tom King. Tom King did Tom King that. Did that. Yeah. It was like a 12-issue run. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good read. Very good read. Yeah, I'll pick it up. I'll pick, I'm actually going to put this in my pull. Let's just see where it goes. I don't read too much Mr. Miracle besides what the last one came out. I know he did DC Future State had a side note, kind of like a side story at the end. Yeah. But I want to see what this goal takes off. So, and it's a new Mr. Miracle. From, yeah, from, I don't think it's Scott Free. I don't no, think it's, it's not. Free. So, so uh, I forgot his yeah. name. I had it last week, but yeah, yeah, I'll pick it up. All right, next up. This cover is so dope. Nightwing 79, second print. Oh, yes. Bruno Redondo is just killing the artwork on Nightwing right now, just killing it. Uh, the story has been fantastic. Tom Taylor also killing it. They've got a good combo with these two. And hopefully, like uh, James said last week, they leave these two on it for a while. I think um, they will be together for a while. Yeah. Uh, make sure you're picking up all. The, I would personally picking up the you know the, the first prints because it is a great read. You've got new characters being introduced. Um, the next issue, number eighty, which was on FOC last week, is the full appearance of Heartless, um, and I think I think it was on last week. Was it not? Or maybe it's upcoming. I could be wrong. But there's another cover that I saw. Um, 
of Heartless. I can't remember what it was. I'm confusing myself now. That is also dope. But this has just been excellent. Yes, I agree. And dude, this is like gives me that that uh Batman sixty six vibe. Mm-hmm. Uh, them climbing up the the the, uh, the building. Uh, I like the transformation of uh Bat- Robin oh. Dick Grayson uh from Robin to Nightwing. Uh, they, they kind of in the in this issue they kind of went through that a little bit inside. Uh, they showed a panel of him, you know, uh going through uh his phases with Batman and with the Teen Titans. So. I, I like the little uh, uh, interior stuff. Well, not the interior, but uh, the, the the art that they both um, in seventy eight and seventy nine. His his art is very fluid. It's it it's full of motion. Him, you know, him showing him jumping off a building, and you know, it looks like seven hymns, but it's just him making the motion all the way yeah. down the building and things like that. So very cool. Yeah, Bruno Redondo, look out for him. All right, next up. Uh, Robin number two. We just uh, reviewed Robin yes. number one yesterday. A mm-hmm. uh, new character with flatline. Uh, won't spoil it if you haven't read it yet, but leaves on a little bit of a cliffhanger. That's not really a cliffhanger. Uh, the backup stories have been good. Very good, in my opinion. Number one, uh, a little less so, but still pretty good read. Kind of uh, copying off a of Mortal Kombat, in my opinion. Um, but I will be obviously getting this, uh, Melnikoff, very good on the interior art and Josh Williamson has been doing a pretty good job with the writing. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, dig- I'm digging Robin number, number two. Uh, I'm going to get it. You know, uh, that, that character flatlines badass, uh, that a cover is dope and that Francis Minipool. uh, I'm thinking it. I'm, I think I might get the both, both of these covers. Uh, yeah. So. I put both of them on pull this and B cover. So uh, just to just to see where it goes for at least the first ten issues, to see where it goes. So that's me. As of this point, no one in twenty five listed as of oh, yet. Okay. Next, Teen Titan Cat- Teen Titans Academy number three. Haven't read number two yet. Did read number one. We didn't review it. We reviewed number one a couple weeks ago. Um, obviously, continuing the whole who is the new Red X storyline. Uh, issue one was okay. I. What I've heard of issue two, it's okay. Um, I guess, I don't know if it's true, but I think it's a little more apparent who the new Red X is going to be if it isn't outright revealed. I don't know. Um, I'm going to read issue two, see if I like it. I thought the cover, for, the main cover for issue two was really dope. Um, but it, if two isn't, didn't kind of get the momentum going, I don't I don't know how much longer I'll continue on with this. Okay, you want to say something, Broski? Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm with uh, Josh. I, I it's too much stuff uh, out there to read. I'm not saying, but the Teen Titans Academy. I I'm not. I wasn't really too good when I when I read issue one. Like you said, I haven't read issue two, and I don't know if I'll pick up issue three. But if you're a Teen Titans fan, go on and do it. It could be something. That Philip Tan cover. I like it. I like it. That's all I gotta say. Next up, Alien number three. Now, when I was pulling pictures. I'm not a big alien fan, mm-hmm. but when I was pulling, you know, the JPEGs for this and I seen this cover, I'm like, Oh my God, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. And then I see this and I'm like, Oh my God, that's awesome. Not so much a fan of this, but these two covers are awesome. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I like that. They did a, something a little bit different than what they normally do, which is something very similar to this. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if I'll pick them up. I read it when we did a review on aliens one, uh, and Aliens 2, actually, but I've never read Aliens 2. Um, Mike, I'm sure you'll be getting this. Yes, I will be getting this. Uh, and the Adam Kuber cover, I am I am that one. That one's my favorite cover. All these covers are nice. All, all these covers. Uh, that Philip Tan is nice, too. Uh, but that, that Kuber cover is just screaming, man. I, I, I'm i digging it. I like issue three. I mean, issue one and two was good read so far. Uh, not a big alien. Like, I don't really know that universe of alien, but yeah. reading issue one and two. I'm I'm hooked. I'm hooked. Yeah, that be that B cover screams get me, man. I, I'll pick it up. That fact I picked up the B cover from that issue two, which is Stephanie Hans' previous issue, which I so the B covers they've been really dope. Story we've been decent, not a great story, but it's a decent story. So it leads to see what's going on. And I'm like with you, a uh, Joker. I'm not don't know that much of the Alien world. I I really didn't watch nothing but Aliens once and and probably Aliens vs Predator. Other than that, I really didn't watch a lot of Aliens. So. I don't know the backstory and comic wise. I never read one, mm-hmm. so this is the first one I'm actually reading. Damn it, Jalen waddles off the board. I'm watching, watching the NFL draft, draft in the background here. 
Giants were, I think, hoping to get him. Say la vie. All right, next up, uh, got some. What we got here, Broski? We got the on the bus. It's say, it, say, it, say it again. You broke up. Oh. Omnibus. Omnibus. <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man Volume 3. Got a new printing. Um, this is issues... Um, That's be 101? I, no, no, no. It doesn't start at 101. But what I will say about this is out of all the Amazing Spider-Man omnibuses for the first printings, this one is worth the most money. I don't know if Successive printings, they go down in value, but this is like a four hundred to five hundred dollar omnibus. The first printing, um, wow. obviously, any Spider-Man fan who really wants to read Spider-Man, I suggest getting all of these omnibuses. They are omnibuses. They look really nice all together on the shelf. Um, I am in the middle of reading them right now. Uh, not really a fan of the variant covers. I like the original covers. So, moving go. on. Next up, Beta Ray Bill number three. Um, I hear this story from some people is good, and then I hear this story from some people is bad. Um, I think it's all about uh, Bill um, trying to uh, find a new weapon uh, since Stormbreaker's been destroyed. Yeah, and uh, you know he doesn't have his horse face, and it's all about him trying to get girls, basically. And, okay. you know, he's, our, he's been rejected by Lady Sif, um, and you know, without a weapon, um, <laughs> he doesn't have his horse face, which I don't know how that would help you get girls more than his other face, but you know, I don't know. Now, now, now I'm intrigued to, to walk to, to read this. Cause I gotta see how this plays. No disrespect to horses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that one, no, in 20, the one in 25. I like, I like yeah, that the one. Mundo? That's yeah. dope. Now they gotta read this. Now I gotta read. Okay, this. so we won't talk about this much. So this has been on FOC three weeks in a row for some reason. So obviously they keep pulling it back. I believe this is the end of the series for Black Panther. Uh, so Black Panther twenty five. I don't know if it gets rebooted at number one or if they're just bringing on a new author um, or a new writer. But um, we got quite a few covers here. We discussed this before yeah. two yep. two weeks ago. This oh one, I think, is going to be the cover to get. The Gleason cover. Okay, so next up, Black Widow number seven. Hot book this week is Black Widow number six. Uh, you got um, Black uh, Black Widow's new sidekick or tr trainee. Yeah. Um, I forget her name. I don't read Black Widow. Uh, it is like a $20, $25 book already. Um, and I think this is her right here. Yeah. And Adam Hughes has been killing those A covers for Black Widow, man. Mm -hmm. The one in 25s have been good too. Yeah. 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 All right. Next up, Marvel's number two. Uh, I was going to get this book because I think that there's new uh, characters being introduced in this series. Uh, and I can't remember exactly now, but um, I heard the first one wasn't that good. But Alex Ross doing a good job on the covers. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, Marvel's this number one, one dropped this week, I think. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, start on that. I, I got, I might have to go read it and see what's up, what's going on with that. But I do like the graffiti style on this one, man. So shout out to Alex Ross for that. That's dope. I like the way how he improves all the characters, the Marvel characters in the background of every letter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, next up, Miles Morales, Spider Man number twenty six, continuing with the Clone Saga. Haven't been reading this, but have been picking it up. Uh, issue 25 just came out, uh, what, this week. Um, had a couple dope uh, incentive variants, the one in 25 and the one in 50. Like both of the uh, the covers on this one, I will be picking this up. Um, hopefully can get this one in 25, but I doubt any of my shops will have it. Just kind of like the little Spidey sense going off right here. Other than that, I don't really have much to say on this book. I thought I've been picking this run up because I figured that some of these books might become future keys or, you know, bigger books. Yeah. I don't know if I really see that right now at this point. So I'm, I'm liking that one in 25, though. That's just pretty badass. It's pretty dope. Mm -hmm. saga. Okay. So I have a, I have some <laughs> stuff. This. Reptile number one or reptile, whatever they call him. It, I think it's reptile, though. So this guy got introduced. I believe in in one of those exactly. amazing Spider-Man runoffs. Oh. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, the one-offs, the King in Black one. Uh, stupid character 
in I, my yeah, opinion. I was about to say that same really thing. stupid yeah. character. He can turn into basically any dinosaur that he wants is his superpower. Um, he's part of, I want to say Avengers, some Avengers team. I think it's the yeah. West coast Avengers. I think, I it think he's from cool. like Nevada or Oklahoma or something like that. Um, okay. I don't know why I have a feeling in the future, this book is going to be something, especially oh, yeah. this one. I that, don't that, know why. That Del Mundo, one, that Del one Mundo. In yes. Th this oh, one in 20. I, I like the. I actually kind of like all these covers as stupid as this character sounds. I, I, it's just in my I'll freaking gut that this book is going to be something one day. You right? know what, Josh? Then pick one up and put, keep it as your long-term play, baby. You know, you know uh, mind you, when this comes up, this ain't his first appearance, but it's his first run story, right? Because he has that Avengers mm -hmm. one shot. Um, that that Del Mundo screams is going to be hot there down the line. But if he comes out with a movie, this is going to be or introduces some, an MCU and eventually I don't know what the fuck they got Jurassic Park. But uh, th that that looks like that will be something there down the line. So that's Su Su Salsa one in twenty five might be a cheap book right now. So best time to get it is when it kind of releases within that week because there's going to be a heavy stock of that being a first issue, but I would pick it up now because they're down the line. It's going to be like Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. It's going to be one of those expensive yeah. I, I have a feeling this will be a very low print run. I can't see much excuse me, hype around this character at all. This is the only three covers for her. Sorry. More two as, one, as far uh, as yeah. I know. Uh, next up, Spider-Man Spider's Shadow number one, second print. Good story. Re-reviewed it. No image as of yet. Okay. Just this is about obviously it's a what if story. What if uh, Spider Man kept the you know the symbiote suit? Mm. Okay, moving on to some Star Wars. Star Wars Darth Vader number twelve. Obviously, the War of the Bounty Hunters crossovers into all Star Wars um, for every single series. <laughs> um, and you're going to see this theme in a lot of Star Wars books now, where their variant is the cheapest cop out ever. Is just yeah. changing the color skew. Uh, I don't even know how they think they could sell a lot of copies doing it this way. When it comes to a second print or a third print, I get it, sort of. Mm -hmm. But to do it as the variant, and it's not a sketch cover, stupid. Mind opinion. you, that B cover might be worth something because a lot of probably common LCS won't get that B cover knowing that it's the same cover as the A cover. So I don't know. It might be something there down the line, but who knows? I doubt the way it. Things are, and this Sprouse cover. I don't know. The faces of Luke and Leia just look weird. <laughs> Fucking glared sun, sun in the face. Next up, Star Wars Doctor Afra number ten, hot book right now. Again, yeah. cop out on the. They're they're doing this like this goldish bronze color on all of them. <laughs> One in twenty five is pretty dope. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think I read some. I don't know if this is going to be another new character introduced in this book, but obviously all these one in 25s for Dr. Dr. Afra are hot now. Um, obviously heavy, heavy rumors that she's going to be in some sort of show very soon. Okay. 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 Next up X-Men number 20. Um, not reading X-Men at all. Yeah, I hate this X-Men logo so much. I can't stand it. <laughs> I, I, I think this is kind of cool though, how she's running off yeah, the pictures on the face, but it's all it's everyone she can turn into. Yes. So That's it's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. There you go. Next up, let's get into Indeed. some indies now. Department of Truth number nine. I still have not read this series at all. Wow, really? I, yeah, I have every issue. I and this is up my alley so badly, and I have it's just too many books to read right now, yeah, man. Fact, fact. You better off just buying a trade. Yeah, uh, I mean, obviously, I think it's important to collect them. I think uh, well, this is going to be the next thing that pops off. You know, it, it like just like something is killing the children. Obviously, yeah. it is. Oop, it is a hot story. Um, number one is you know like a fifty dollar book. I think raw. Uh, if not more at this point, but um, I think you'll see this start heating up pretty soon, considering the fact that I think this has been more than optioned, right? I think this is. I think they're going ahead with this. I think they're going ahead with this one. Uh, that this is this is a good book to go ahead with, man. Uh, that A cover, I'm digging that little uh abstract type color on cover. Uh, that C cover is kind of weird, but I I like it yeah. too. Also. That C cover uh, is a hidden one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, damn. Okay, it was a hidden one. I didn't even know that. Uh, so no, yeah, man, I mean, for for like 
I don't know if they're gonna get everybody's gonna get the A, B, and C cover on them because it's getting too high. So that C cover might be a one to one to get. Kind of surprised that they cut off the one in 25, though, and the one in the 10. One they, they've done it since I, I want to say like issue five or one six. Through five, one through yeah. five. No. Next up, Shadecraft number three, another book we reviewed, both uh, issue one and two, two just yesterday. Uh, series is, is good so far. Um, nothing spectacular, but it's been pretty good in I my opinion. It. Left off on a little bit of a cliffhanger this week. Yeah, uh, I'm going to continue to pick it up, see where this goes. Another book that has been optioned. I definitely got to put this on my pull list, man. I, I'm I'm digging this. Uh, this I I, I could see this being uh, a show already off the bat, man. Uh, yeah. I, I'm digging that B cover. That B cover is yep. pretty dope. The A cover is nice too, though, mm-hmm. you know, but the B cover is pretty dope. Yeah. Next up, Spawn 318. Uh. A book that I have not been reading. I want to read one day. Um, so I'm going to have to pick up. Is there an omni- a Spawn Omnibus? There's got to yes. be. There's, yeah, there is. yeah I, I think I'm going to have to pick that up. I've really gotten into Spawn lately. It, just from collecting, um, picking up a lot of the rarer covers. This McFarlane B cover is... F- all these covers are dope. But th- this McFarlane B cover and, and the Barons cover are just awesome. Um, I hope to... God, the the one in five cover is going to be this one. A black and white. No, yeah. I hope it's so. It's probably going to be this one, though. It, yo, that Tom McFarlane cover gives me the, the Batman 1989 vibe uh, when he's standing on that building. Uh, yo, dude, that is so dope, man. I I, I want the B cover on this one. Uh, but yeah. Beyond Barons has been killing this, too. So uh, you never know. It won't be bad if black and white one, too, for that. But I don't know. But yeah, I'll pick up all of them, even the one in five. I'll pick up all of them. Uh, I'm a cl- I'll collect spawn. It comes to spawn. I pick all of everything so far. That spawn be covered though. Spawn. Yes. All right, Gomez. Here you go. Haha. Ha, number five. Talk about it. I ain't getting no. it. Yeah, I'm. I'm picking up all of them. I'm actually going to pick up two B covers. I just like the way the art is. I know they they do a lot of store exclusives on the on the haha ha right now. A lot of clown shit out there, but uh, definitely one of the ones that. I like. I, I want to actually. I'm like with Josh. I have read issue one and two, but I haven't read it, uh, three, four, and five. But can't wait to sit down. I want to sit down and actually read it from yeah. limb to limb. But uh, that that's that's why I'll I'll pick them up. Pick up both if you can, because uh, who knows down the line if these are gonna be harder to get. Especially with they're not picking. I don't see a lot of LCSs ordering a lot of these. Only the one and two was, and then it started slowing down as opposed to ordering them. So yeah, get them yeah. if you can. There you go. All right, I put this on here because I thought this was a little weird. Undiscovered Country number seven, I that. Friend, like I, I, I don't get it. Like I think I don't know if this series is over now, but I think the last one that came out is twelve. I've gotten every single one of them just because it's it's Scott Snyder. And I just thought it was really weird that a, a number seven second printing is coming out now. So like, delayed. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Wow, that's interesting. So okay. keep an eye on this for. I, I mean, it's got to be important just enough to get a sec- Yeah, right. No, um, the no, artwork no. on Undiscovered Country, uh, the covers is usually pretty good. So, um, okay. okay. All right. Next up, Abbott, nineteen seventy three, number five. I don't know why I keep putting this on here. I heard it was a good read. I don't, at least for the first couple issues. I've um, heard this too. I heard, I heard this is a good. So read. I put that on here because I know this is a little popular. I don't know if any of you guys are going to pick this up. Yeah, I know that one. The one in twenty, the one in twenty five, getting trolled by the wife. She doesn't mm-hmm. like like that shit. But I'll pick up the B cover if I have. If I'm gonna pick it up. Yeah, well, the one in twenty five. All right, here we go. Oh, you know what? I'll talk about this, and then I'll I gotta go back to something. But so you got free comic book day stuff on this FOC now. I don't know if you're allowed to order it. It, it says I can order things, but I don't know if only shops can order these. But you do have Enter the House of Slaughter, which obviously is something is killing the children um, <laughs> for free comic book day. Uh, this is going to be, I think, a big book, even though it is a free book. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see what this is going to be well, about. I think it's about the rest of the, the Slaughter family. A little quick note. Um, I got a, I got an email from my one of my LCSs that I signed up for email whenever they have stuff, it's deals. He They told me that I, I could pre-order a uh, Free comic book, but be thirty five cents a piece if I order a certain amount. So that's not that bad if you think about it, if you're gonna miss out on a free nope. comic book day. So no. they said I can order uh, as many as I want, be thirty five cents a piece. 
So I, I have, I have till I think this Tuesday to, to, to do that because they're FOC. But that's what I got an email for one of my local comic shops. So yeah, maybe you can order it. Uh, I I will be. I'll, I'll put it if it's if you can order it. I will be ordering this. Um, I put ten on my list. Yeah, Josh. Uh, you know, um, I was, yo, shout out to uh Ross Ritchie, man, the CEO of uh what is it, Boom Boom Studios, man. Uh, he was on Sparks Comics a few like last month, and I asked him a question about this, and he couldn't really give me the full details because I think he's just waiting for it to come out. I asked him if this was gonna be like a one shot or it's gonna be like a like a like a spinoff. Of uh, 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 something's killing the children, and he couldn't answer me. He didn't. He didn't want to answer me. So, uh, this one I got my eye on, definitely, man. So, and uh, yeah. one that I did not put on here because I sort of forgot to. But uh, for IDW, Star Wars, uh, the Clone, uh, the Clone Wars, Star Wars High Republic Adventures is also getting a free comic book day book. Yeah. All right. Next up, ending on a high note. It's back. Something is killing the children. Number sixteen. After how many months has it been gone now? Couple. Yeah. yeah about a month and a half. Yeah, mm. it feels like longer. Mm. I could I thought, be wrong. I sixteen came out like, or fifteen came out like about a month ago, but maybe two months. Uh, it seems like it's been a long time, but obviously, uh, this series has exceedingly heated up since the last issue so trust and believe that this is going to be a heavy print run on this book this 21 and 25 is dope i don't even know who the artist is on this yet uh no. i couldn't find any details uh when i was looking looking it up um the jenny frizen covers again look way too similar to to most of her b covers they're fine but i wish she would do something a little bit different um I don't know. I think this one in twenty five is going to be the one to get. One in twenty five is nice. I'm enjoying it, and um, yeah, you know what? I I, I regret selling my early issues and the children because, you know, uh, you know, you need money at the time. But definitely, man, one book to I I have my Jenny Frizen cover still from on the first printing. I'm gonna hold on to that. Should have sold that one. I should have sold that one. I sold that one already. I had two of those. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna pick this one up. You know, that one in twenty five. I'm gonna I'm gonna look into that. I'm gonna look into that. That's All right, it. that's it. Uh, this is just some more stuff coming out this, or I'm not coming out, but that is on FOC this week. Uh, anything on this list jump out to you guys? Um, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, mine's on that yeah. day. Lady Mechanica, uh, Joe Benitez is a, a, a rated artist right there, he does a lot of Lady Mechanicas. So, those free comic book days, I try to pick up when I see him. Uh, that's one of that's you know, the old guard tells time i do have issue one which i want to read so issue two comes out so that's another one that's on my radar right now now and then uh that's stray dogs number three second print was mm-hmm. pretty cool the cover was pretty dope on that and that's been a really good read for for people for like kind of like it was different but it was a good read uh yeah two know. moons definitely is a good one for me to pick up that one i will put my foc uh the, what is this uh the trade paper back for batman white knight harley quinn Guys, if you, you missed the boat on that one, pick up the trade paper back, man. That was a good read. Uh, I enjoyed it. And uh, let me see what else I see here, man. Uh, you got Cherry on the three. Well, you got the boys, Hero Gasm. Okay, number one, free comic book day one, too. Cherry at number three, Thoreau talks about this book pretty frequently. Um, also, what other one? Uh, yeah, like Gomez says, Stray Dogs number three. Obviously, that's a book that is pretty popular right now. Mm-hmm. Got some more here, though. Okay, this one, this one right here, Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back 40th Anniversary Collector's Edition. I don't know exactly what this is, but it looks like it's going to be more of like that magazine, the oversized uh format. And there is a newsstand edition also coming out as well. Yo. There's like three or four different. And real um, quick. I see Shadow Doctor number four. That yes, one, that's a good read, guys. Please, I, yeah, that's something I, I've been talking about. And definitely give it a read, guys. It's been good. And I'm, you, go ahead. No, go ahead. Now I was gonna say Zoro New World number one. I'm catches my eye because I like Zoro. Dude, know, so. I I shit you not. I was gonna say I was when I was putting this on here earlier today. I'm like, we need to review Zoro for new comic book okay. day. I was just saying that as a joke though. 
Are you gonna say it as a joke? I, yeah. listen, you know what? I'll read it as an honorable mention. How about that, yo? But uh, no, no, we should read it. Just some different to talk about. That's what that's dope. Um, what else? Uh, this one right here, Shadow Man number two. I forget what this story is about. Covers on it are dope, though. Yeah, that's that Valiant book, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And Destiny, New York. Okay. Well, yep. Another New York book. There you go. All right. So that is it. That's the end of FOC. Um, again, please make sure that you check comicbookinvest.com. Um, check all the articles there. This list will be posted up uh, as late as Saturday ben, by Ben C. Shout out to Ben C. I did yeah. actually just meet Ben at the show in New Hampshire for the first time. Really cool dude. Really helped me out getting a book after the show um, by him introducing me to some people up there. Um, but again, uh, make sure that you go to comicbookinvest.com uh, for the link to this video. Also for the actual list itself. Again, please make sure that you are constantly checking your FOC wherever you check, wherever you're ordering books through um, to check for books that were not on this list that may get yeah. added to it on Friday or Saturday. Um, also, continue to watch the CBSI uh, shows that are yeah. on literally almost every day by a slew of different channels. Mm -hmm. uh, keep it thorough, pressable defects, uh, very Gary. And who am I missing? Tales from the flip side. Um, I think there's a show just about every day at this point, except Saturday, I think. Yeah, one more thing about CBSI, guys, man. Uh, just real quick, man, since we talk about CBSI, here, yeah, man, uh, they're doing white writer's war, guys. Uh, here's your chance to write an article for CBSI. And uh, the best article wins, uh, what is it? High Republic, Star Wars High Republic, um, issue three, uh, the comic book exclusive.com. Um, variant and uh, the second place will win. Uh, issue, issue no, issue one will be the first winner, issue three will be uh, second winner, and uh, issue four will be the uh, third place. Uh, so yeah, man, uh, definitely hit up uh, CBSI for more info for this. Uh, this is your chance, you can talk about anything on your on your on your, on your article, man. So nice, nice, little, nice little thing that they give him to, to you guys, man. So, yeah, I might, I might write a little something, you know, what I mean, I might, I might write a little something about these guys, you know, what I mean, I don't know, oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Other well, than that, we will see you on Sunday for our Sunday podcast. And make sure you go and check out our new comic book day review if you have not seen it yet. Uh, if not, we'll catch you on FOC next Friday. And you guys get me off just in time for the Giants draft pick. So thank you. Until next time. <laughs> Later. Later.